What's up everybody, Noah Kisback here for your spoiler review slash thoughts on the newest episode of The Falcon and the, and the Winter Soldier. You know I was not a big fan of episode one. I thought it was a decent episode. I was not a fan of, of episode two, and this one is said to be the best one of them all. Got up early to watch it this morning, so let's get into it. To find the source of the Super Soldier Serum, Sam and Bucky must scale a ladder of low lives starting with Zemo. So they are in this city, and they're basically looking for the serum. This is a fine episode. We do get Sharon Carter back. Emily Van Camp is back here. Zemo, we see him put on the mask in a great action seek, a great action sequence. But let's be honest here. Let, let let's just be one one hundred percent honest here. I was not a fan of this episode. I was not a fan of this episode. I think this series is an interesting idea, but. The problem is I'm not really hooked to these characters. I think this episode was more more like a callback episode to Civil War because we got Sharon Carter and we got the main guard from Civil War at the very end. The show is really, really good at action scenes. The problem is... I just don't care about Zemo. I don't care about John Walker. And John Walker in this episode starts start, starts out incredibly mad and he's he's not being ta taken seriously as Captain America by the people in the show or the audience because I've seen a lot of people who do not like him. We don't like him. We're not supposed to like him, I don't think. But when you're trying to make me like him and try, trying to get me to get get on his side so that I, I can get a little bit mad at him when he eventually turns bad or turns into super agent. I'm not a fan of John Walker. I'm not a fan of him in this series. I think Wyatt Russell does a fine job here. But I think that this is a show that's just trying to be an MCU show. WandaVision had a different feel. It had the sitcom feel. But Wanda's acting was a lot better. I think that Stan and Mackie are both great actors in their own right. I'm waiting for Bucky's scene with the old man. Because it, either the old man is going to die. And before he dies, Bucky is is going to go up to him and tell him what he did to his son. Because he was the one who killed his son. Or they're going to have a nice heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Maybe in the second-to-last episode. It might it might even be, be the next episode. I don't think so. I think you would want to say that for the second-to-last episode. Or maybe even the, the, the last episode. And... They're going to have a heart to heart and he's basically ju just just going to say, hey, look, I'm the one who murdered your son. And it's going to be a very powerful moment. I, I, I feel there there are going to be a lot of people reaching for for the tissues early in the morning. If you watch it early in the morning or maybe you stay up late to watch it, because I know that here in in Ohio on the East Coast, it doesn't get to Disney Plus until 3 a.m. It doesn't premiere there until 3 a.m. I'm not staying up until 3, 3, 3 a.m. for nothing. I'm not staying up till 3 a.m. for anything, especially this show. I think this is a fine episode. I believe this is going to be a, a episode that resonates with a lot of people. But from somebody who does not like John Walker, just like everybody else. I don't like the new Captain America. I'm not connected to Bucky or Sam. I am just not. I don't care about Zemo. I'm just not caring about the series. But I am going to say that it's still an entertaining series 
once we get to the action scenes. And the action scenes are what make it because th th these are big budget action scenes. You could have made this a film and I would have st still enjoyed it. But the problem is I'm not as excited as I was because I I sat down and I watched uh, the Disney baking slash cooking show called Be, Be, Be Our Chef. I was more excited about the next episode of Be, Be, Be Our Chef when they had new ones ready to go than I was about waking up and watching the new Falcon and Winter Soldier. But for you Marvel fans and you like your, your Marvel stuff longer than half hour with WandaVision, this is the longest episode, I believe, at 46 minutes with without end credits. I believe it's like 53 with end credits. So it's a pretty longish, longer episode. But we only got three more to go. Am I going to get into the story? Am I going to get into this? Am I going to get the emotional impact of Bucky Barnes and the old man? Am I going to finally get connected to Sam and Bucky? I'm hoping I will. I'm still going to continue to watch everything Marvel. But the problem is... The main problem is... It's just a movie... A, a movie. A show that I'm not all that into right now. I love WandaVision and I love The Mandalorian. Two big budget series from two franchises that I really do like. I love Star Wars... And I like the MCU a lot, but the MCU is not my favorite. I do love the the MCU quite a bit, actually. And I just feel feel a little bit bad because One Division came out first, and I don't think it was supposed to come out. I believe it was supposed to be the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and then One Division. But I think they needed something to pump to pump out there just a little bit. I think they wanted to release uh, WandaVision closer to uh, to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. There's my spoiler. Oh, and this episode is called The Power Broker. I believe we are going to find out who the broker is. Is it Sharon Carter? Is it somebody else? We're going to find that out, hopefully, within the next two episodes. I'm hoping that next week's episode gets me invested a little bit more. But I still want to hear what you guys think about it. Stay tuned because I will have a review of Godzilla vs. Kong. As well as my March ranking video for all 21 movies that I saw. Well, all 21 March movies. 2021 movies that I saw in March. I'm not going to get to see nobody. Uh, I was going to go and see it today, but I just decided, you want to know what? I'm just not not going to. Uh and I will get into what the theater experience was like with a bigger crowd uh, at my local smaller theater in that video as well. So I will see all of you guys next time for Godzilla vs. Kong and the March ranking video.